So one of the really extraordinary and amazing moments in this whole process happens when the painting and the carving's been done, the painting's been done, and you have this piece of wood with the writing on it, and you think, okay, that's what it's going to be like, and it really isn't. What we're going to see is this extraordinary transformation taking place, um, and that has something to do with um, why I chose the wood and. Uh, my guess is as to what the wood is going to look like when we apply the finish, which is a polyurethane or a lacquer um, uh, or, or an oil or something like that. So what we're going to do now is to, is to have that moment and you're going to see what happens to the wood uh, when, we do, when we do that. So we're going to start over here. So straight away everything becomes less dry and more liquid. It also becomes less two-dimensional and all of a sudden it, the, uh, the wood seems to take on depth. It's like when you go snorkeling and all of a sudden you can see this extraordinary stuff that's just kind of floating at an indeterminate depth beneath you. Beneath you. And the purpose of the of the finish is to seal and protect the wood, um, but this is a kind of a, a side benefit of it. And because this is a burl as opposed to a just a section of a tree, so the section of a tree has its own function, its own integrity, its own um, strong, relatively straight lines. A burl is a growth that has developed on the side of a tree and it has its own internal logic which as you can see is this extraordinarily wild um, uh, patterns of growth that head off in, in different directions so over here it's this um, this extraordinary storm system of, of tiny little whirls and elsewhere um, it's tiger stripes or um, it is it's rivers and, and rivulets and everything is just leaping into life and into depth and also it's changing color you know it's it's um, we're getting suddenly instead of that that dusty beige color you saw here suddenly you're getting this um, incredible series of red gold colors now we're going to do several more coats of finish and we're going to sand in between them but this moment this moment is the the moment of privilege and just being there to watch it is is always exciting